how to add a currency converter in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can add a currency converter to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, Shopify is super easy and simple to use when you're building your store and creating a currency converting option can help you in bringing more international customers and increasing your business. You can do this very easily and simply using the help of one simple plugin. Now for that, I'll build a sample product just so I can show you guys what the product is going to look like. So I'll just add a product called sample and then I can add the price that I have for this product like this. And then after that, I'm just going to click on save over here. Now I want to make sure that I have added my quantity. And then after that, I'm just going to click on save to make sure that our product has been has been added. So once we have our product, we can click on the preview button over here to see what it currently looks like. Now you guys can see this is the current price of my product and we're going to build a converter. Now currency conversion does not mean that the product price is displayed in a different price. That would mean that you're simply changing your default currency on Shopify. By currency conversion, we mean that a customer is able to change the currency if they choose to. However, your default currency would remain the same. So if I have my prices listed in RS right now, a client or a customer could open up the website and then choose dollar or choose any other currency, choose yen, choose whatever currency they want. So to do this, simply head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you're on your Shopify dashboard, click on add apps or a simpler way to get there if you don't have the apps icon on your left toolbar is to click on settings. Once you click on settings, you want to click on apps and sales channels. And once you click on apps and sales channels, I'll click on Shopify app store. This will open up your Shopify app store. And in your Shopify app store, you can get started with adding your currency conversion tool. So in this app store, you just want to search for currency converter. Just search for currency converter over here and multiple different types of converters will show up. Now, the one that I recommend is best currency converter. There's also multiple different types of currency converters, such as the Bucks Currency Converter Pro, Nova Multi Currency Converter, which also work really well. The Bucks currency converter has the feature of auto location currency switching and checkout currency conversion. If you take a look at the best currency converter, it has a few different quirks. One thing to note is that they have a free plan as well as a paid plan. So the free plan is free for life and you can add five different types of currency with three basic designs. And then you have the elite plan where you can get 30 days for free where and you can add over 160 currencies. Now, if you take a look at some of the comparative products, such as the Bucks Currency Converter Pro, you will see that this app itself is free. So if you're looking for currency conversion art on a more global scale, I would recommend using Bucks or Nova simply because they're available for free and have multiple different location options. So if you're looking for the most number of countries, the Bucks Currency Converter Pro probably has over 160 currencies available, which is higher than all the other currency converters. However, keep in mind that usually you're only going to be using five to six currency converters unless you're shipping worldwide. And if you're shipping worldwide, even then your orders are going to be coming from particular places and you can itemize that. But let's continue with Bucks Currency Converter Pro over here and click on install. Once you click on install in a couple of seconds, you can go to the installation page on your Shopify store. So this is the installation page. You're going to click on install app on the top right. And once you click on install app, you will see the apps appear on the bottom left of your toolbar. So once the app has been added, you can get started with adding your particular currency conversions. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your general settings on the box currency converter, then click on set up money format. Then over here, you can go into your Shopify settings. And simply by clicking on this item, you will see your store currency. You're going to click on change formatting and you guys will see there are multiple different types of currencies. So we can add this over here, click on save over here. And then I'm just going to copy and paste our without currency amount like this, keeping the initial currency and just clicking on save over here. And now our new settings have been saved. So our money format has been created. I'm just going to proceed to our next step over here. 
and after we have click on setup over here click on next i have done this you can click on enable theme app extension you're going to click on enable click on this particular link you can just go into settings and open these up but it just makes it a little easier with the pop-up box and you will have your app embeds and you will enable box so once you open up the shopify store editor on the left you will see your box currency converter so you're going to just click on enable and then on the top right you're going to click on save now once you've done that you can head to the next step and you're going to click on enable app so click on enable and click on enable app over here once you've done that you will be able to see your currency converter is going to be live now it might take a couple of minutes for your entire shopify store to sync up and to add this currency converter now what kind of currencies do we want to be able to display well we're going to set this up now we're going to go back into the box currency converter pro and once you open up your plugin you will see some basic currencies we have location based currency on so this will show the default currency of the visitor's location restrict auto currency switch where you can restrict automatic switching of currencies and then if you want it to be with or without the currency symbol so i want it with the currency symbol and then we are going to add our instant loader turn this on and then we also have some advanced price rounding so to round to decimal remove decimal or none you also have some custom settings you can create and i'm just going to click on save over here and open up our extension status over here so once we open up our extension in our app embeds make sure that this has been turned off turned on and then you can click on manage apps to make sure that you have set up your basic information now you can click on theme over here to set up your currency box if it's a margin layer if you want to show flags and currency or flag only and you will see the icon pop up then if you want to use margin flags or traditional flags and then the theme so if you want it to be a circle flat or round then you have the currency codes if you want to display those and the basic color of your box so it's a white box and the text color is black and the mouse over color can also be changed you also have the instant loader this can boost the speed of your currency converter then you also have cart notifications and once you have set up these you can go into your display settings so going into the display settings you can choose the position of your currency converter let's say i want this to be on the top or if i want a custom position i can add this to a specific section i'm just going to put it floating and then your position style so if you want it to be the bottom right or the bottom left if you want it before or after something and then you have the original price as well as currency selector box then i'm just going to go into my general settings once more and you have the currencies over here so i will click on select all and this will add all of the currencies that the that this particular application has available you can search for any currency that you want and you can choose to display that in your converter then click on save on the top right and once you click on save you're gonna see that our currency converter is now available you will see it's present on the bottom left over here and it was pre it was just available i think it's just refreshing but we can click on our online store like this just preview your store and if you open up a particular product you're going to be able to see your currency converter at your particular place where you placed it now in this way you can set up a simple currency converter i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe